Hello there. So we're using Adobe Illustrator and we're going to create a file that we can send to the laser cutter to cut out. We're going to make a pencil box. So first of all, open a new file, name it with your name and pencil box and let's begin the project. Okay, so first of all we use our rectangle tool and we're going to create the first rectangle which will be 80 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Now we're going to add a second rectangle which will be 3 millimeters by 100 millimeters. We use 3 because this is the thickness of what we use on the laser cutter. So that will create the tabs on the side. Now let's go to Object, Path, and then we're going to split to a grid. For the side we use rows. We need to make sure that this is an odd number. So let's start with 5 rows. Then you can click Tab, Tab, and get to Gutter. And that's the distance between each of the rows. So we're going to change this to zero, and then click OK. Now we have those five boxes selected. Let's go to our Rotate tool. So by holding the Alt key and dragging from the center, and it will select it and rotate it by 90. Let's change that to rotate by 180 degrees and make it copy. So that will put the exact same five boxes on the other side. Once we've done that and made sure they're exactly correct, we go on to the next step. Now we're going to create another rectangle. This rectangle will act as a guide, a guide for we put our bottom notches for the bottom to slot into. So it will be 80 width and 94 down. And let's add another rectangle in, which will be 80 by 3, the thickness of what we use in our laser cutter. So let's go to path. Split to grid. We're not going to do rows, that's across. We're going to go columns, which is up and down, 5, and 0 for the gutter. Now, if we select off and go back to the cursor, then we can delete the unwanted shapes. So there's only two of the five we want, so the two outside ones and the one central one will delete, as well as that guide shape, which we made as well. Now we can add and our guidelines at the top, so it'll be 80 by 3, and OK, and that's the guide. So go to the bottom part and make another one of those, and split that shape, like we've done before, into five columns by split to grid. And then we're going to delete the two outside shapes and the one central one. And what that leaves us with is two notches which will be able to slot our top and our bottom parts of our box into. It'll be a lot easier to see afterwards. Now we've got the base of our outside. So if we select it off the cursor, we'll do Control A, and then Control C to copy, and Control V to paste. Now we need to make two different versions of the side so that they slot together. So select one of them, and we use our shape building tool. Now if we use that, we go over, hover over a shape, select the mouse and drag in to select those shapes and make it into one shape. So we've done that side there. Now we need to click off. Let's go to cursor and select off the shapes, not highlighting all of them. And let's go on to the other side over here. Again, shape building tool. And we're going to do the opposite. Just like a jigsaw puzzle, these parts will slot together. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, let's select off the shape. Get the cursor, click off, and if you see that, we drag and there's all these shapes which are left over. If we don't, the laser cutter will try and cut those lines twice, and it can cause a bit of smoke, which was not what we don't want to have. So now let's drag those across, side one, side two, and of course we need two more sides, so let's control C, control V, and make side number three. Let's duplicate the second side again, control C, control V, now we have our four sides. Okay, to make the bottom, because it is 80 wide, we need to make another rectangle, and that rectangle will actually be a square. 
which will be 80 by 80. Okay, so now we've got our base. We need to add another rectangle, which will be 80 by 3. And then go up to Object, and we want to select Path. Our perspective, we want to get a path. And then from Path, we're going to go Split to Grid again into five columns with a zero gutter. Okay, next, once we've got our five, we need to use our rotating tool. So rotate, alt, and drag until we get to the center of the shape. And it's set to 180, let's change that to 90. And to copy, and there's our two. And let's do control D and control D, which will duplicate two more. So then control D, control D, and we will have the whole shape with the grid around it. We're going to go back to cursor and we're going to select all of that shape. And just like with our other shapes, we're going to use the shape making tool and we're going to select the center shape where it's gray. Hold down mouse and just make it into one, I guess a hashtag really. And you notice that will actually slot up into those grooves we've got left over. Drag it off to the side, delete the unwanted shapes, and see there it fits in perfectly. So now I've got my top or the bottom. Control C, Control V, I've now got the top and the bottom. And I want to make one of those sides open. So I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to make a, another rectangle in there with rounded corners, which will be 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters, with a corner radius of 5 millimeters. Okay. And we'll click OK. Now I'm just going to use the cursor and move that across slightly and it will say intersect when we get it perfectly centered. Okay, so that's centered. Now that's two shapes. So I need to use my cursor, select the two of them, use the shape building tool and just click on the outside to make it gray. Now that is one solid shape. I use the cursor and move it out of the way, select off and I can just drag back my top and that's it perfectly and then delete that shape there. Okay, now that shape is what we need to build, but when I cut out that, I'll have this big square, which is a bit of a nothing. So, there we are here. So I'm just gonna go and choose a circle or the ellipse tool. And let's just put a little circle in the top there. And so I'm just going to make that into a quick key ring saying Mr. Luke's keys. And then once I've finished that, I'll also go onto one of the sides and just add on a little bit of personalization, something like pencil box made by Mr. Luke and the date, just so I can remember the beautiful moment when I made this pencil box. Okay, that's looking pretty snazzy. Now the one last thing we need to do is we need to select all of the shapes. The lines are too thick. Okay, so we need to select all of those with the cursor. It won't select the text, but you see there it's 0.35. That will just engrave. So I select that and I change it for our laser cutter. The setting is 0.001. Now if you're watching this, you're not in my school, you might have a different 
settings and you talk to your technician about that or your teacher. But that is how we go.